Hey going guys, it's uh, Jet Simmer here again. So today we're going to be doing our um, dropping bombs tutorial. <clears throat> uh, so this is the basic dropping bombs using the Fleur. Um, so we're going to be doing some Mavericks, um, JDAM and a uh, couple of dumb bombs. Um, so yeah, so basically we're just going to go out. I've set some targets up um, out there uh, through the editor. So what we're doing, we're decking out our aircraft today. Uh, so we're looking for the AMG. So we're going to do one of each, uh, and then we'll do some more for a more advanced uh, sea and uh, air to air, all that sort of stuff. So today we're going to be doing some like maps. Um, so we're going to find our maps. Let's um, there, not maps. No, there's our map there. All right. So we're going to be doing our maps. So um, our AGM 65E. So these are our maps. So we're using these ones on the Alta. Uh, we're not going to use it there. Um, <clears throat> we'll also do our um, JDAMs. Uh, where are we got? We got one JDAM around here somewhere. So we're going to use our JDAM, which is the GBU 31, and we'll also use. Um, so we've got uh, any dumb bombs. All right, so we've got some dumb bombs here. Um, we're going to use our real big. Uh, Real big ones, or we'll use our reels, our um, MK. So these are GP bombs, then we got guided bombs, and we got our AMG laser guided designators and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we also need our flow, so otherwise we're not going to be able to drop anything. Uh, we can also chuck. Uh, Do we put those other ones on? Uh, JDAMs. Yes. Okay. So we got our JDAM, um, and we got our other other ones on there. So we will be using uh, these bombs here today. So if you have a look over there, we got the JDAM on the back. Um, so this is a uh, laser guided bomb, um, and we also have our dumb bomb as well on the back there. Um, when I get the is dock it'll be a little bit easier to get in there and show you the bombs up closer and then we have our maverick there which is a laser guided bomb so we'll get in we'll set up and we'll get going um i'm not going to really do a really t tutorial on the taking off so get in and have a look and watch me do it uh, i don't want to do too much otherwise people will get bored if you want to do that you can have a look at the um, tutorial on how to start up the aircraft. I've already um, I've already done tutorials on that. So if you want to have a look, by all means, go ahead and have a look at those. So I'm just going to quickly whiz through this. Engine fire, left, engine fire, left, engine fire, right, engine fire, right, APU fire, APU fire, lead air, left, lead air, left, lead air, right, lead air, right, engine fire, left, engine fire, left, engine fire, right, engine fire, right. APU fire, APU fire, lead air, left, lead air, left, lead air, right, lead air, right. Alright, so we're all good to go, so we'll start up the aircraft and we'll get going, so APU on, 30 seconds, green light.
and crank. Waiting for 15. Done. Flight controls. Flight controls. Flight controls. Flight controls. When you're going out to like bombing zones that you've uh, preset yourself, like testing yourself, the chart seems to be the better one uh, to find to spot them, unless you've got a uh, particular um, uh, waypoints to go to uh, your locations and stuff. I already know which way I'm going, um, so I don't really need waypoints at all out there. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much set to go now. So bit tests are sorted and yeah, all right, we'll release for brakes and let's get going. Alright, so we'll uh, give that a close, make it quieter, and we'll uh, go on and head out. Almost forgot. Yeah, make sure you turn that nose to the steering, I know you're not turning anyway anytime soon. So we'll get out uh, onto this tarmac away from buildings then we'll uh, chuck on the um, we'll arm our seat So we're going to arm our seat, um, going to set flaps, and uh, we'll set the trim, we'll check our spoilers at 660, 24, 24, 22, 22, 42 and 10, 42 and 10, 40 and 4, 40 and 4, and then if we go into, yep, cool. Alright, so we're pretty much good there, um, we'll just check our flaps to make sure they go all the way down, and they're all the way down. Alrighty, we're good. See our control system is done. We got our fuel. 
takeoff controls, wings, trim, hook, harness, lights, and lights. Have another that. Seat is on. Lights are on. Taxi, and we are good to go. Radar, we can warm up. Warm up, warm up. And check engines, make sure they're all good. And we can check our um, optimal range. We're pretty good on there. So that's going to tell us our optimal range and what our current range is. Um, and we can go into. Let's uh, put that as a hut. I didn't even check the wind so. So I don't even know if we're meant to come this way, so I really hope I am, am right. That didn't set. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're on the right money. So we can even use the flare on our main HUD here if we want. We probably will be using this screen um, as well uh, to do certain things. So we can have uh, the radar and stores. So we'll probably use this screen for the flare today. So. <clears throat> we'll also be turning signal jammers on and stuff. We'll be treating this as a um, real combat session. All over the place. I've got to turn my as well high up. Okay, um, so we can do HSI just for a bit of extra counter measure there. So, what we'll be doing, we'll be heading out of the runway here, uh, doing a climb. I um, uh, just a standard climb. Um, We'll just say that we've been cleared for a, um, I can't remember what they called it. Uh, basically once the airfield's cleared, we're allowed to quickly ascend to our um, high rate of climb so we can like get pretty much straight up. So once we've uh, stabled that we're up on the air, um, we can pretty much just like pull straight up and go uh, to our assigned altitude, pulling off at 15, um, 15 degrees altitude, which will get us up there pretty freaking quick. Uh, we'll probably be flying at around 15,000 today, just so we're close enough to the ground. Um, there is a few clouds, but not a lot. I just want to be close enough to the ground so you can actually see what's going on. I put a few largest buildings out there. Uh, if you want to see a tutorial on how to do uh, real basic uh, custom scenery for yourself, well, I can do that. Um, I had to look up online on Google to find some. Um, so they're probably even better. I can link those in the description if you wish. Um, Alright, so last quick check. Pretty much good, no uh, flags, we're good to go, obviously that's good to go, 
Alright, so we'll get on the runway. The only thing we're going to do is take that down to uh, NWS low, not high. On the runway, ready to go, so we'll go low now. Alright, so we'll go full afterburn. Ready to go, we've been cleared hot for takeoff. So, afterburn is to get us up in the air because we are carrying quite a load today. Um, dumb bomb and JDAM and a MAV. MAVs are quite fun to, to play around with, the laser guided bombs. So, really, really fun to play with. Alright, so we are. Uh, Positive rate of climb, we're good. Gears up. Flaps are up. Alright, so we can now pull up. We are clear of the aerodrome. We've got some speed. Out of marker. And we will hit into a roll here. So we'll click on the roll and we can get going. Alrighty. And so we're going to head around to 210. Uh, degrees of a heading of one zero, uh, two one zero, uh, and we'll get out there. Okay, so it is quite misty out in Catherine today. Um, quite a bit of overcast, so we'll see what it is like over the bombing range. Hope it's not too bad. We can go ahead and turn our blur and uh, laser target detonator and our um, LST infrared on as well for the weapons of choice that we'll be using today um, keep going we may have to drop down a bit so what we'll do is we'll bail off up here And we're at 210 heading. So. And we'll pull up. Alright, so we should be heading towards. So we're, we're heading in 210, but we've got to go out to the bombing range. So we're going to go uh, to 190. So. That's about there, and we'll be heading towards the bombing range, uh, which is that circle just there. This is uh, the RAF base bombing range for um, uh, Tyndall in Northern Territory. Uh, the range is out there that uh, someone has made up for scenery, it's freeware, and I have decided to just add to it a little bit, so there's just some more targets out there for my personal use. Um, so you can do that as well, download the scenery, and uh, do your own personal um, targets down there. You can put beacons down there so you can lock onto the beacons a little easier. But the enemy aren't going to give you beacons. So that's where the flur comes into it. Um, so we can go here and um, use this flur, which is this thing. Um, really can't see what's going on. Turn it AGR. Turn that on to stores. And we'll turn that on to flow. We'll see if the flow. I don't think it's <laughs> going to do much difference. We can even turn. Um, that on the radar as well, and we're gonna have this on flow. Make it on fast scan. So yeah, you don't really need everything. Um, we could also have this on systems, and we're gonna have that on radar. So you can just choose which and what you want. That's probably a better bet, so we can see what's going on uh, a little bit better with the bigger uh, screens. That's probably for more night vis. Uh, right there. Looks like it's a nice clear day down towards the bombing area, which is really good. There is a semi-cyclone 
that is kind of just finished over towards the Gulf, out that way. Um, Gulf carpet area. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, rain lingering around uh, near near Catherine. And you can see that the weather is uh, kind of eased off a bit, which is good down south. So it's going to be a nice, easy run through. Alright, so we're going to go 185, I think. Um, so we'll go to autopilot uh, 185 or 186. So we can head straight in. Maybe 184. We can just head straight into the run, um, over to the range. Uh, so we'll go systems. Blur. Alright, so what we can do now is pretty much arm our or semi arm so we can go okay the aircraft is now set for air to ground. So we're gonna choose our mavs for a second. So this is our mavs, so we can set the uh, code uh, for the laser to track a certain thing. Uh, so for this particular one, we're going to um, set it for 1111. The timing is how long until it's ready. Uh, so that's the timer. Once it's ready, it's ready. Our targeting designator is caged. And we can also set it up uh, doing different things. So we can ha set our code up there. Um, so basically we're ready, it's on standby, ready to go, click on that, so it takes about 30 seconds to get it up, we can set it up using, probably better to go into uh, stores here, um, so we can go Mav display straight away, um, so these are the different steps uh, when it's all set up, once the time has gone down. Let's uh, get the radar set. Alright, so once it's done, we can do all sorts of different things. Um, basically, once we've locked onto a target, this will change over and we can start doing certain things. So, um, let's see what we can get out of the radar. So we'll go systems there, map display. We haven't really spotted anything yet, but I think we're coming up very close on the range, which is just there. So we really can't see anything out there at the moment. So you want to zoom in and have a look. What I want to do really quickly is change us over to 180 now. We just hit a uh, lovely spot. There you go, one, seven, eight. There we go. Alright, uh, so we'll slow down now. <coughs> now I can't really see anything on the ground. Uh, using this radar. Let's see what the 20 does. Um, visual. There we got more clouds in front of us. So all we'll do is we'll just drop a bit. Get to about, well, I'd say 7,000. Just to get away from the clouds today. So you can see the buildings pop up on screen just there. So what we'll do is we'll set us into a roll here. So if we get onto the floor, see how the code for the MAV is already there? If we wanted to change that code, um, I could go into uh,
Uh, da 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 da. Go here. Go to systems. Go there. Change the code over to one five two three. We we'll enter that into the code. Enter. All right. So now that's entered into the code. So now that is the code uh, for our laser tarsic designator. Um, uh, so now the MAV will follow that code and no one else's. Uh, so if I wanted someone to laser code for me, I just lock onto their number and if they're like targeting a particular thing, my MAV will follow that code, which is really good. So I don't necessarily have to target. So you can see the buildings there, left and right. There's uh, some down there and some over there. So what we're going to do, we might fly out in this direction for a bit. Um, so let's go over to autopilot and we'll head out at 220. <coughs> Get a bit of distance from those targets and we'll see if we can spot them from a, a distance. Come around and we'll uh, target up with the, the radar here. We might be able to swing it down, around behind uh, the jet, see if we can Maybe we can find a bit of radar. Wondering if we go. Nah, it's a lot more clear over to the left here. So we'll take over from the uh, the aircraft and we'll fly it around to the left heel. Just so we get a bit of uh, bit of distance. Now the jets would normally come in pretty quickly and target this, but this is just for tutorial business. Uh, when I do some simulated uh, bombing runs, we'll uh, set a waypoint up somewhere out this way for us to find and then we'll come in um, and laser it like a radar or something set up some SAMs alright so what we'll do is we'll hit the visual on that so now that's just looking at exactly what we're looking at alright so our map display is ready to go so we got our map it's ready or locked so we'll come around, see if we can spot those pesky targets off in the distance up here. Alright, so there's, there's the bombing range just there. So we're going to hit that. We're going to look down. Now, I can't see that far away, so I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit more, because I can with the, uh, the flur. Now it's probably going to take a bit, oh there it is, so the radar has popped up and we now have full view of our target, so I'm going to bomb this building here, so let's quickly go into autopilot and we're going to sit the altitude, I'm going to quickly use the radar to go down, okay I'm going to bomb you. Alright, uh, targeting you. You're locked. Okay. So, my target's now locked. So, I can pretty much just launch when ready. <coughs> if I really wanted to. So, or oh, i just move over a bit more. Okay, I have target. <coughs> so, you got to do it kind of quick. Um... So now you know what the target looks like. That means the target's from behind the, the uh, aircraft. So we've locked our target. We've had a look at We know what the targets look like. We've gone over. Um, most of the time when you... You can do all sorts of different things. You can fly over, see what your target looks like. Or if you already know what your target is and you've already locked onto it. Because um, you can lock onto that from a distance. I didn't want to go out that far. 
for the sake of the tutorial, I wanted to get in, get a bomb, get it dropped. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a really sharp turn around here, keeping at it. Uh, we'll see if we can get laser targeted. Alright, so we do got distance to target. Alright, so we'll fire off the missile. I don't think it's going to fire just yet. What's going on? Um, stores, nav, nav display. Oh, there we go. So we got to get the target in that little square. Once that's in the little square, we're going to laser target it and we can fire. Probably need to be a bit further out. So we'll go a bit further out. So you'll have this little thing here is like your laser. Uh, set up. Okay. Uh, you need to get that where it goes into the square, into the little, um, into the crosshairs. So we'll try one more time. I was doing this yesterday. I'm probably trying to do this tutorial a bit too quick. Uh, let's see. We go step. Step one, step two, step ten. What if we change the code again? But yeah, we can. You can change the code to whatever you want. All right, so the codes are changing over. Oh, how stupid am I, guys? <laughs> My bad. You, for I forgot to arm them. So yeah. My bad, we can go back and do that different code again just to show you that codes do work. I'm so silly, I didn't arm the weapon. So, the weapon's now armed. That's That was stupid on my behalf. We're on standby, ready to go, main display. Alright. So yeah, don't forget to arm your weapon. Oh, you're probably going to say that in uh, the tutorial for a few a few times until you actually see that I figured it out myself. I should redo it, but no, I'm not gonna worry about it. The tutorial is gonna be a bit long. More advanced tutorial coming soon. This is just the basics. Probably one of the easiest weapons to use. Alright, so we got our target lasered back again I believe. Okay. T T uh, so L T D R is on Lazy target detonator dash R. All right, so now we can. So you got the timer. So you got the the Mav L K D there. Um, so that's linked or something. And you got the timer there, so it's going down. Once the timer is down, that means we can fire our Mav. Okay. We've also got steps, and we can fire a few different ones at whatever. So we're about to hit our. So we're about ready to fire, so we can fly now, in range. We fire, boom. Time to... So we'll fire another one, boom. Time to target, it tells us, 85, 84, 83. So they'll be flying up above the clouds. Pretty fun. It's quite awesome. So what we're going to do, while they're flying along, we're going to come along and smack up our JDAMs. Now we've got time to release you get 70 seconds. We can also change the modes to quantity to all sorts of different things. So we can set the programs uh, to, two, to FDL, CPR. These ones pretty cool. They're quite fun. So I can delay them if I wanted. CPR, CCPI is for more advanced. But today we'll just do auto and we'll drop one at a time. Um, we can also drop two if we really wanted to. So we could just drop two, make it a little bit quicker. Time to release. So the other targets look like they have just hit. They're on. It's on fire over there. Try and get it right on target here.
Alright, so almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. And bomb, and bomb. So we can watch those fall. JDAMs are gone. They miss target by a hell of a long shot. But you get the gist. Alright, so a little bit more uh, practice. Let's see if we can get the next one on target. Alright, so we got the uh, two dumb bombs. Alright. So this is... Oh, these are our JDAMs. My bad, I got them wrong, right? So yeah, these are our JDAMs. Okay, the other ones are our guided... Uh, our um, dumb bombs. JDAM display. So they're both ready. Okay. Uh, we've also got modes for them. So we're going to use TOO for the mode today. We've also got other steps that we can do with it. Standby, standby. We only need to drop one at a time with these things, really. You know, JDAM display of... Uh, so you can drop auto release. Um, so we can go FD manual auto quantity. We're going to drop two at once. That's a little bit much for... Uh, Alright, so let's try and target this building this time. Try and get these things on target. So this line here, you want to try and get it in the center of the ship, in the center of your uh, HUD. And then when you get close, where that timer is starting to come down, you can see that line and then when the timer gets down to like the last it will just drop and boom and boom we can go out and have a look Whoop. Ah. I can't wait till we get and it should have just bombed somewhere down there Anyways, thanks for that guys. That is the very basic tutorial on how to drop your three main bombs that you most likely have more fun with in uh, the near future. So thanks again guys and yeah, we'll see you around. See ya.